We've designed this course so that if you have a laptop or other computer, a microphone and a webcam, and can log into Moodle, you'll have all the technology you need to complete the authentic learning opportunities and do much more. Now, we'll be pointing you to resources that, at minimum, will enable you to do all the coursework. We'll be asking you to create a free Zoom account that you'll be using for the synchronous collaboration session. Since we're using Zoom for our course meetings and due to the growth in Zoom's popularity, many people have been exposed to Zoom in some form, so it'll be one of those at minimum tools that we will be expecting you to learn how to use. Yes, we do expect you to learn to use the technology. We will not be offering you direct instruction or stepping you through the use of tools like Kaltura or Kaltura Capture. Why? The research is very consistent that active learning works much better than direct instruction, especially considering how technology tools have advanced in simplicity and effectiveness. Most people can use their iPhones or their Android devices without having to take a direct instruction course. Most people learn how to use their phones through experimentation and they often learn the advanced features and options through collaboration. Exploration, experimentation, and trial and error are key aspects of active learning, and we know that this works. Don't take my word for it. A recent Harvard study, which you can view in the course resources, showed that physics students who used active learning methods scored a full letter grade higher than a group that were given direct instruction. The group given the direct instruction through a lecture believed that they learned much better. They thought that the instructor did a wonderful job and they would prefer to do all the courses in that particular manner. But they scored a full letter grade lower than the active learning group. Ironically, the active learning group didn't believe they learned very well. They didn't think their instructor did a good job. They didn't like to the learning experience and they wouldn't want to do that type of learning in the other courses, even though they scored a full letter grade higher. Why? The researchers suspected that since direct instruction is what most students are used to, when presented with something other than the norm, they just weren't comfortable. My own research into active learning over the past several decades confirms those findings. You may indeed feel uncomfortable at first with active learning, but once you take ownership of your learning experience and find out that a little bit of trial and error that comes with exploration and experimentation is just part of the learning process, and you'll get used to it. Yes, deeper learning may make you uncomfortable, but don't worry, you will get used to it. We also don't want you to worry because the at minimum tools and the processes we will point you to will not be difficult to use. For example, at minimum for your introductory video, you can use Kaltura Capture, create a video on your computer and upload it to your My Media Gallery. Once you have it in your My Media Gallery, you can easily share it by copying the embed code and paste that into a topic thread that you'll start in the, in the introduction forums. This introduction forum and other modules will also be one of the best places to find answers to your problems. For example, if you notice your video sounds like you are in a large room or perhaps even a tunnel, while someone else's video sounds like they are an FM DJ, well, you could ask this question of one of your fellow participants, whose video is more to your liking. If you were to ask me, my response would be something like, well, audio is very important. And if you're like me and have to work in an open concept space with high ceilings, um, if I use my built-in mic in my computer, it sounds like I am in a tunnel. To improve my audio, several years ago, I got a Blue Yeti USB microphone that I simply plug into my laptop, change the input settings on my capture software to Blue Yeti, and the tunnel effect goes away. There are many options to improving your online experience and as you work through this course you'll be exposed to audio, lighting, camera, software, many other options that will enable you to take your creations to the next level. Don't worry, with the advances in technology today the at minimum level is really quite good so you can definitely do well with just the minimum. But if you are someone who is looking to push the envelope you might find others like you in this course um, that you can then collaborate with and learn from and then share your lessons learned in the forums as well. Once again, the at minimum approach is quite good, but we do encourage you to go beyond and explore what it takes to go from good to great.